Hello again, watch friends. Welcome back. I'd like to briefly talk about and share my Tissel Bauhaus. First question, who is Tissel? Tissel is a Korean manufacturer of inexpensive mechanical watches. Often they're of German design, and in this case, this particular watch is a German design, and the company makes a variety of watch styles. They make dress watches, divers, pilot watches, and in this case, the Bauhaus. That's the name of the watch. And the watch is simply called the Bauhaus. It's an inexpensive entry into Bauhaus design. So you may be wondering, what is Bauhaus? Well, you may know, and if you don't, Bauhaus is a German art school that existed from about 1919 to 1933. It was called the Bauhaus Movement. Initially included only architecture and design, but later it included crafts, arts, and consumer products. Bauhaus also influenced subsequent developments in graphic design, typography, interior design, industrial design, and even furniture. The Bauhaus design is a minimalistic, functional approach. It's the antithesis of form over function. Now, there are some alternatives to a Bauhaus style watch. Nomos makes one. Actually, Nomos makes several. And the Nomos has a variety of nice pieces. They range in price from about $1,000 to about $3,000. Maybe a little bit more if you get one that has one of their in-house movements. Another manufacturer is Young Hands. Young Hands watches range about $1,000 or so. And Young Hands was one of the original watch manufacturers to create a Bauhaus watch and did so coincidentally with a movement in the early 1930s. The third brand I want to mention is Stoa. Again, Stoa is about, they run about $1,000, maybe a little bit less. Stoa is another one of the original Bauhaus watch manufacturers. This is my vintage Stoa from the 1940s. Really a great looking watch and a real classic Bauhaus design. The Tissel runs about $250, so it's comparatively less expensive as an alternative while still providing the Bauhaus aesthetic. So let's talk about the dial. The Tissel has a creamy style and blued hands. Per the Tissel website, these are heat-treated blue rather than painted or chemically treated blue hands. A small date window appears at 6 o'clock, and if you look closely at it, you see the window opening is beveled. That's a nice touch on an inexpensive watch like this. I think having the date at 6 o'clock provides a better balance than having one at 3 o'clock. There isn't much to say about the Bauhaus aesthetic. Either you like it or you don't. I happen to like it, and the implementation here is perfectly reasonable. There's a sapphire crystal, which is AR coded. Uh, AR is anti-reflective. Another feature not found on an inexpensive watch. The dial features painted, alternating Arabic numbers and baton markers. A highly legible minutes track appears on the perimeter of the dial. The case is 316L stainless steel with measurements of 38.5 millimeters for the diameter, 9.7 millimeters thick, a lug width of 20 millimeters, so you should have no problem changing out the straps, the standard size, and a lug-to-lug -lug dimension of 48.2 millimeters. Interestingly, the watch looks 
chunkily thick. I'm not sure chunkily is a word, but maybe chunky. It looks thick, even though it measures only 9.7 millimeters. I think this is due in part to the shape of the, of the lugs in comparison to the case. I've always said that the lug-to-lug -lug distance is a better gauge of how the watch will fit on a particular wrist than any other measurement. A 48 millimeter lug-to-lug -lug distance isn't really all that long. So even though the watch looks thick, it doesn't seem that way on the wrist. One other characteristic of the case are the angular lugs. They appear to stick out from the case, but they curve down. I imagine this would help uh, the watch hug the wrist even on smaller wrists. Finally, the watch has a 50 meter watch resist, uh, water resistance and the crown does not screw down. The movement on this watch, as I said, this is an inexpensive Bauhaus style watch. The movement is a Miota 9015 automatic movement that was first introduced in 2009. This movement is used by a lot of micro brands because it's less expensive than alternatives, for example, Etta or Solita. There's very little finishing, as you can see, by the plain rotor. A display back on an inexpensive movement always raises the question, why? My answer is, why not? Just because it's a cheap movement doesn't mean that the owner wouldn't like to see it go tick-tock. And he or she should be able to. Nothing wrong with that. Other movement specs include 42 hours of power reserve. It beats at 28,800 beats per hour. And surprisingly, the Miota has both hacking and manual wind. So, so far you've seen that there are a number of features that you don't normally find on an inexpensive watch like the sapphire crystal, the hacking, and the manual wine. So, so those are good things. As you probably know, Miota is owned by Citizen, and Citizen claims the accuracy of the caliber 9015 to be within minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day. Now, although it's difficult to believe, when I put my Tissel Bauhaus, this watch, on my time grapher, it yielded some rather interesting and surprising results. As you can see, the rate is almost right on. That's pretty amazing. Secondly, the amplitude is very strong at 258 degrees, and the beat error of 0.3 is definitely within range, and it shows that the movement is beating equally on both sides of its swing. So all in all, a fantastic accuracy measurement for this Bauhaus Tissel. Something in which I did not expect at all. Now I don't know if you wore this Bauhaus for a year and then measured it again, it would still be as seemingly accurate. And of course I have no data on that. But this is a rather rather good accuracy measurement. So some last words. The aesthetic is simple but pleasing. It really is a nice looking watch with a good balance overall and a minimalistic appearance. All the components work well together, the dial, the hands, the case, and assuming you can get past the lack of pedigree on this Tissel Bauhaus design, this is an inexpensive and attractive entry into a Bauhaus style watch. It's fun to wear, it's a storied design, and I think every collection needs a Bauhaus design, whether it's this watch or one of the other brands I mentioned. So there it is, the Tissel Bauhaus watch. By the way, this watch is for sale. I'm thinning out my collection and some pieces just have to go. It's brand new, never been worn. There's no box or papers because, well, when it arrived directly from Tissel, there was no box and there were no papers. 
I guess that's part of the economy watch thing. Anyway, if you're interested in this piece, just contact me. I'm Art Lamberger, and this is my channel. Thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing to be alerted of new content. See you next time.